You know, I want to say something I've been reading about in the press, and uh, I don't have a lot of first-hand information, so I may be, uh, you know, off the wall on it. But think of this. If you wanted to destroy the Fox News, you really wanted to destroy them, what would you do? Well, you would send some salacious material uh, ostensibly from one of their popular co-hosts or hosts, and you'd send it out and then get it publicized. And then you'd have some woman complain that she had gotten this salacious material from this particular co-host. And then you'd come to Fox, and Fox is so uh, averse to any kind of uh, uh, legal action that they would immediately take the person off the air. So before long, you would have decimated the primetime lineup of all the Fox hosts. Easy to do? Absolutely. Is it being done? Probably. And the latest attack is against a guy named Eric Bolin, who I think is a straight hour. He was on this program. He's a dedicated Catholic, goes to Mass every day. Very nice man. They've pulled him off the air because somebody sent some pictures ostensibly over his name. But what they've done is take away one of the most popular hosts in, the, in their lineup. And then they, they got rid of uh, O'Reilly, who was the top uh, getter of, uh, of, of, of audience, mm -hmm. uh, the, the most popular uh, host they had, got rid of him. And, of course, they got rid of uh, Roger Ailes, who was the architect of putting it all together. So easy to do now. I mean, anybody can make charges. But, ladies and gentlemen, if this is going on, and it could easily do it, I mean, I, I don't want to, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but it is so easy to see what's being done. I think it's a, it's a terrible shame, and Fox had better uh, cinch up their, they talk about gird up the loins. I mean, they better gird up their loins and realize that people are going after them and, and know that this is a, a game that people are playing. Anybody could send a, a salacious piece of literature and, and say it came from any particular, it came from Sean Hannity, or it came from this one, or it came from the other one, and totally bogus. And yet if the Fox lawyers believe it and they pull the guy off the air, they have ruined their primetime lineup. And that's what's happening. MSNBC is now winning the demographic ratings against Fox. Really? They've got the demos, which is the 18 to 49 um, young people. Isn't that amazing? MSNBC, really? Really? I mean, Rachel Maddow, of all people, wow. is number one. But wow. Fox is, is, is self-imposed wounds, but I think that's how you could fix them if you wanted to really do a job. And I, I applaud Fox. I really believe they're doing a great job, and I hope they continue. But I tell you, those lawyers had better get out of the picture and, and let the programmers run, their, run that the network because they're doing a fabulous job. Okay. So much for that, but I consider them our friends and we want to help.